so much for watching my channel Empower In. I'm Caroline Porter Thomas, and today I have a video request from Fung Fen who said, Hi, I was wondering if you can do a, do a video on receiving criticism from doctors and supervisors, or if you have any advice on that. So, Fung, I really do like this video request because it's something that I think is very, very hard for us as new graduates and new nurses to deal with. So what I'm going to do is tell you a story of an event that I went through and how I dealt with it and what I learned from it and hopefully you can learn from it as well. So one time when I was a new nurse, um, I had been a nurse for about eight months or so, I was working on um, a wing of a hospital and basically our unit was divided into four different wings. And basically e there would be two nurses each wing and we were supposed to cover for each other. So what happened was we had a new nurse on a different wing she came to me and she said, she asked me if I would help her discontinue a PIC line. And she said that she would never done it before and that she needed some help. And that the nurse working on her wing didn't know how to do it either. So I was like, sure, let me just ask the nurse to on my wing to cover for me and I'll go over there and help you. So I went over to the nurse and I asked her, and she'd been a nurse for a really long time and I don't think she was very happy doing what she was doing. She'll see a lot of that, but that's, you know, that's such as life kind of anyways. But um, I went over and I asked her, hey, can you just cover my patients for about 20 minutes or so, I'll be right back. And her response was basically, no, I will not cover your patients, you cannot leave, and let her find somebody else, and that's it. And she went on and on and on, and it was also in front of this other nurse. So the, uh, the new nurse kind of just looked at me and was like, I'll just find somebody else. So next thing I know, I'm being called into the nursing supervisor's office, and she's fuming, and she's... So, I've never seen anybody so mad, and she basically started screaming at me and the other nurse that was working on my wing, and, you know, she was just saying how what a horrible role model we were being, and how, you know, we, we should have taken time to help her, and this was just unacceptable behavior, and just went on and on, and I mean, I, she was screaming, her face was red, I mean, spit was coming out, this was no joke, she was mad. And then the next thing I know, I was, I was just watching all of this, I was just in shock. And I was just like, holy cow, like what do I do? And um, anyways, the next thing I know, the other experienced nurse went right back at her, matched her energy, also screaming, also fuming, explaining how she had too many patients, too many meds, too many this, too many that, blah, blah, blah. And they just started going at it. And then the director looked at me, which made the other nurse look at me. And I was just like, I, my first thought was like, this is not a battle I can win right now. And I don't know if I should. And so I just said, I should have tried harder. And to me, I would, you know, when I said that, something inside of me just felt like it was so right in so many different ways. Not only was it maybe the right thing to say, but also it could have been the right thing to do. I really should have tried to convince this other nurse to help me help the other nurse. I didn't really try to do that. She just kind of went on and on and I just kind of stood there and I didn't really stick up for the other nurse. So that's something that I, I should have done. You know, maybe I should have helped her find somebody else to help her, you know, discontinue this, the pick line. So the, the truth was I really could have tried harder. Anyways, when whenever I'm re receiving criticism, and this could be from directors, just like experiences like this, hopefully not as dramatic with as many red faces and, you know, saliva spraying, but you know, maybe it could be an interaction with the doctor where you miss something, you know? Um, sometimes it's very easy to miss labs that come in, especially if they come in in the middle, of, you know, between the hours of 8 to 10 or 8 to 11 when we're giving all of our medications and doing all of our assessments. It's very easy to miss things. And so if a, if a doctor comes to me and says, why didn't you notify me of that? Or why didn't you do this? Or why didn't you do that? I'll say, I'm very sorry. I'll, I'll try harder next time. And um, doing this helps me realize that you know, I can always learn because we all are always learning and that I can improve because we all can improve if we want to and that I will improve. Now the final thing that I do and this is something that I think really has set me apart from a lot of other people 
is within, I try to do it within the next hour. If I don't have time to mentally focus on it, then I will do it as soon as I get some time to mentally focus on it. But what I do is I imagine myself doing it correctly. And so I do this while I'm moving and I will just very quickly, very briefly imagine that I did it perfectly. And so for in this instance with the position or the situation with the director, I will basically, you know, be walking and then I will see myself helping that new graduate nurse do it perfectly. And then the last final thing that I do is I see my director looking at me smiling with pride. And I know that sounds cheesy because, well, I think it sounds cheesy. Maybe it doesn't sound cheesy to you, but what this does though is, is, it, is it makes me um, kind of heal any emotional resentment or anger towards this person and I'm able to kind of just focus on the facts and the facts are that I can do better, I will do better and that's it, that's the facts and I will learn from the situation, I will become better from the situation. One other thing that I want to sh share with you is that when other people lose themselves and their emotions yet you maintain your emotions, it says a lot about yourself and I'm not always perfect at it, but there's a lot of times when I can really maintain composure under extremely stressful situations. And I really think that that has also been a very, very big advantage that I have. And people notice that when you're in very, very high stakes, high stressful situations, yet you're able to talk effectively, talk calmly, and communicate your message effectively, it definitely shows a lot about your strength and character. Just so you guys know, I want to tell you the conclusion of the situation that I had with the director. So the very next day, I walked into work, and I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous because I was shaken up, although I did, you know, nourish myself and give myself the um, vision of doing the doing helping the new nursing student or not nursing student but helping the new nurse effectively you know there's always a little bit of nervousness that goes along with that and I walked in to work the very next day and I looked for my name on the assignment and I didn't see my name let me tell you like my heart like literally like skipped a beat I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh like what happened <laughs> what did I do and anyways I you know just kind of nervously asked the night the night shift nurse I was, uh, who was in charge, I was like, I don't see my name, do you know what's going on? And she said, yes, the director called me yesterday and she wants you to be trained to be the charge nurse. And mind you, I'd only been a nurse for eight months. I'm, there were plenty of other nurses on my unit that were highly overqualified that for me, than me to you know, take on this role or position. And you know, it, it just felt like a huge honor to be able to be offered that position. So when the nursing director came in though, she, she basically told me, she was like, I've never seen anyone handle such a stressful situation so well and we need more people like you in, in, in charge. So just so you guys know, when you do handle your emotions effectively, it's not like you're being walked over or bullied over. You're just, you know, holding yourself to a certain standard and believe me, your standards and the way you compose yourself will speak much larger or much louder than any words that you could ever speak. So Fung, thank you so much for your video request. I really hope that this has helped you. And if it has in any way, please give it a thumbs up. And if anybody else has any more video requests, please just post your request below and I would love to do a video for you. Alright guys, I love you and I cannot wait to see you soon. Bye! Thank you.